I guess it's I take every week. Continue showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 beta 2. Uh, you do have to be a developer to uh, get on to beta 2 right now. Uh, actually, there was ways. Do you guys remember when they were releasing all the iOS 5 betas before they actually released the the 5.0, the final? Uh, I believe that was on October 12th. Uh, so be, before October 12th, when you hit all the the iOS 5 betas, some people got free ways to get onto it. So that might work for this or not. I don't know. I never had a problem with it. I just got my UDID registered. Uh, with an Apple developer account, and uh, that allows you to restore to the betas. Uh, so the current beta out is 5.0.1 beta 2. They actually just released beta 1, uh, like the day before beta 2. So they just like released those back to back. I believe beta 1 was to fix uh, the battery problems, and beta 2 is just bug fixes, probably from the beta 1. Uh, I'm not sure how many betas are going to be. Um, and for those who are wondering. Uh, the untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0, uh, the final, or whatever the dev team is going to do. I'm not sure if they're putting out an untethered for 5.0.1 now, or if they're going to jailbreak just the 5.0 final. I'm not exactly sure, but whatever they're doing, uh, I'm assuming that that jailbreak, the untethered jailbreak for iOS 5, will be out within a month or two. Uh, that's my estimate. That's not what they said. Don't count me on that. Uh, but that's it. Anyway, let's get to this video. And I'm not exactly sure how this video is going to turn out because it's actually 1.30 in the morning right now. Uh, but I actually just restored my iPod and I want to get this uh, jailbreak tutorial uh, done so I can use my iPod as a jailbroken iPod for the night. Uh, so if you are on beta 1, you can go ahead and try the over-the-air update to get to beta 2. Uh, the over-the-air currently is not working for me when I was on beta 1, so I actually go, I, I had to go ahead and download beta 2, 5.0.1, uh, and then I had to restore to that. Uh, and that now I am running uh, beta 2. You can see if we go to uh, my iPod uh, general about settings general about you can see in here version 9A404 and that is 5.0.1 uh, so that is the beta. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set the iPod aside right now. You will have to use Red Snow 0.9.9 .9 beta 8. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this jailbreak now. I've been talking for almost three minutes straight. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this. Um, you are going to have to have Red Snow 0.9.9 .9, Beta 8 once again. Um, you're going to, first of all, go into Extras. They actually, they released Beta 8, the jailbreak Beta 1, 5.0.1, .1, but Beta 8 also works for 5.0.1 .1, Beta 2. So what you're going to have to do, though, is go to Extras and uh, select IPSW. You will have to... Uh, find the stock IPSW for uh, the beta 1. Uh, so here we go. Let's see here 5.0.1. Uh, Alright, so there's the two uh, betas for 5.0.1. There's the beta 1 on the left and beta 2 on the right. Uh, and I actually labeled those. They don't come like that. So uh, you can see the 0, 2 one on the left. The 0, 2 you can see right there. That 0, 2 is beta 1. The 0, 4 is beta uh, 2. So, um, I actually just label them beta 2 and beta 1, it makes it easier. Anyway, so you're going to select beta 1 because that is what Red Snow 0.9.9 .9 beta 8 recognizes. So, beta 1, it has successfully identified it. Go ahead and OK. And now you can just go ahead and hit back. And now we're going to go to jailbreak. Let it process the kernel and patch the kernel. Finish this up. Alright, so you can install Cydia. You can try multitask gestures. So far, I have never gotten it to work on iOS 5, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try it again. I'm going to hit next, and this is the DFU mode part. So to do DFU mode, you're going to have to uh, hold the power button and the home button on your iDevice together for 10 seconds. And after those 10 seconds, you're going to release the power, but continue holding the home button uh, until Red Snow recognizes that you are in DFU mode. So we're going to keep it on this screen, and we're not going to click next. We're just going to go ahead and hold the home and power together for 10 seconds, and then release the power and just keep holding the home uh, until Redstone recognizes it. That's all you gotta do. Let's go ahead and do it now. So I got the camera set up over here now, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this now. So the power and the home button uh, together for 10 seconds. So let's do that starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power and continue holding the home button. We'll bring this back over here, right in front of the computer. I'm still holding the home button. Recon uh, Redstone recognized it now. You can release the power now. I mean the home button, excuse me. And to explain the alarm right. And after this, because this is a tethered jailbreak, uh, we will have to run 
Uh, red snow again. Okay, there you go. It just popped up. We'll have to run red snow again, and then just boot mode. Uh, anyways, we're in okay on the device at this point. Red snow says done. Right when it says done, you should see enter device home into white lettering and writing. Uh, right now, mine is just going to please wait. It's just repeatedly saying that that's normal. Just in case you guys didn't know, it is normal. We'll do that for a while. At least it always has a my device. Um, just let it go through. Uh, at some points, it may look like it's frozen up. Uh, it's not frozen up. It just some people always think like uh, when it, when it says moving applications in a place that takes forever. A lot of people think that's frozen up then, and they think their device is broken. It's it's not broken. Don't worry about it. You you can't break your device jailbreaking it. It's not going to do anything. There's always a way uh, to get it out of uh, DFU mode or whatever. So I'm going to cut some of this out now because it's pretty much just going through this. Uh, but before we cut any of that out, we're going to go ahead and cancel because Red Snow says done now. We're going to open 0 0.9.9 .9 beta 8 again. Do the same thing as before. Extra, select IPSW. Make sure you select beta 1 again. Wherever that is, there's beta 1. And it, it successfully identified it. Hit OK. Just boot. So at this point, when you hit just boot, you're going to have to do uh, DFU mode again. The device is actually booting up right now. I just started booting up. So we're going to wait for this to fully boot up, and I'll show you that it, nothing works. Uh, so there'll be a white icon. Safari won't work, and I believe Mail won't work either. Uh, so after uh, this fully boots up, we're going to go ahead and do the just boot in Red Snow. So the device has booted up. We're going to slide to unlock. And... Um, there you can see Cydia right there and does not open up. Safari. Uh, okay, Safari actually works. They, that's different. Normally Safari and Mail don't work. Apparently only Cydia doesn't work now. So we're going to, we're, uh, I already showed you guys in Red Snow, we're going to hit select the IPSW and then go to just boot. Uh, we already did that. We're not going to hit next because it's the same screen. We're going to do DFU mode once again. So back over here. Power and home, 10 seconds, let's do it now, and then release the power after ten, those 10 seconds. So, now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, release the power, and we'll bring this back over to the computer. I'll just keep holding that, and Red Snow recognized it, so you can release the home button now, it's patching the files. And you should soon see a pineapple logo on your device. If you see that pineapple logo, you did it correctly and everything should work fine. It should boot up and city should work correctly. So let's wait for this to all go through to waiting for the reboot. I'll bring the device back up. And we're good. Pineapple logo rebooting. Red snow and done. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. Back to the device. I'm going to cut this part out probably. Wait for it to boot up. Uh, but it will boot up in a fully functional jailbreak state right now. Alright, so it has booted up now. So we're going to slide to unlock. And said he isn't white yet. That's a mystery. Um, Alright, well, said he is white, but it looks like it's working. Sort of, maybe not. Um, okay, yep, there we go. It, it'll probably... Uh, City will probably change to the actual logo after this... Uh, preparing the file system finishes up so I'll be back when this, this finishes up and it'll just kind of like a little like a, a soft respring kind of so to speak um, it doesn't really respring it just kind of closes out and goes back to lock screen uh, but I'll be back when this finishes up so the file system has now been prepared so we're gonna go back and yeah city is now at the normal icon so we're gonna hit city I'm gonna choose developer and there you go, City is loading up perfectly fine. Everything's working nicely again. All the SSH all the all the SHSH files have loaded up. So there you go, City works fine. We're on the main page right now. Sections, changes, manage, search, everything's good. Um, so you are jailbroken now. Uh, and just to let you know, there's a semi tethered jailbreak out. Uh, I believe I did a video on that. I can't remember if I did or not. If I did, I'll, if I remember, I'll put an annotation. If I didn't do it, I'll link you to um, a post or something um, that'll have a, a description of how to get the semi-tethered jailbreak. Uh, the difference between this jailbreak and the semi-tethered is you can actually turn your device off and it'll power back on. 
in a semi-tethered, so it'll turn back on, and anything related to City won't work, including Safari and Mail. Actually, I believe I believe it's either Safari or Mail, uh, one of those work now, actually. So one of them doesn't work, one of them does. I can't remember which one's which. Uh, but everything else works except for City-related things. Uh, so it's a lot nicer than a tethered jailbreak, which this one is. And this one, uh, we turn off our device and try to turn it back on. It doesn't power on at all until you rerun Red Snow. And uh, if you're on the semi-tethered to get this stuff to work, if you like, if it turns back on, you turn it off and back on to get all this stuff to work again, you will have to rerun Red Snow. But the semi-tethered actually starts up, and the normal tethered one does not start up at all. So that is a lot nicer. Um, again, the untethered should be out in a month or two, according to my estimate. Uh, don't count me on that once again. Um, I hope this jailbreak worked out for you guys. If it didn't, you ran into any problems or anything like that, go ahead and comment down below and I'll respond to you shortly and I'll help you out with your problem and that we should be able to fix your problem, whatever that is. Uh, but that's it. If everything worked out fine and you liked this video, uh, go ahead and like it down below, thumbs that up, uh, subscribe up top to be notified when I release my new videos. Uh, that'll also notify you when there is an untethered jailbreak out because I will have coverage on that um, as soon as possible. Uh, so I'll have it out very soon after the release of the Untethered. You can also follow me on Twitter to get tech updates, and that'll uh, be that'll be the best way for me to notify you when the Untethered and all the other jailbreak stuff is going on. So you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, my username is the same as my YouTube username, I tech every week. Uh, so that's it for this video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.